All copyright immediately has been removed where possible and no copyright infringement is intended. Hey guys, what is going on? It is the Sportsmaster here, coming at you with episode number three of my Chicago Cubs MLB 13 The Show franchise. And this is actually our debut at Wrigley Field. This is not our first game at Wrigley Field of the season, but in this series, it is our first game. As you see, we are 3-4. and four. We will be facing the Brewers, who are 5-2. and two. So on the mound for us today will be Travis Wood. I believe he is our number four starter. And I think it's going to be a pretty good game. So the Brewers are in our division, so it's going to be a pretty good division match. And we've already had one division series against the Pirates, which was our first series. So the first pitch of the game going to be a high outside fastball. And the first pitch is going to be hit deep by Carlos Gomez. And it will actually be a home run. So the first pitch of the ball game is a home run. So, yeah. Not a great start for Travis Wood there. A home run on the first pitch. As the Brewers get on the board first, it's one to nothing. So Travis Wood is definitely going to need to settle down here if we want to have any chance to win this game. So anyway, the next batter up is Ricky Weeks, who ends up hitting this up the middle for a single. So the first two batters, a home run and a single. So Travis Wood has yet to get an out. Still hasn't gotten an out yet. The 3-2 and two count to Corey Hart is going to be a single. So the first three batters have all gotten hits. Wait, never mind. Is Scott Hairston is a, excuse me, Nick, Nick Shearholtz is able to get him out. That should have been a hit. But a great throw by Nate Shearholz. Great presence on the field as he is able to get in out. And so another hit. Only one out. And a wild pitch that's going to go off of DeAndre Navarro. And so another run scores. So disaster strikes the first inning for our Cubs. As so we're down 2 nothing, But fortunately with a 3-2 count, he's able to strike that man out. And so it's our turn. Starlin Castro with two outs, 0-2 count. Hits this one up the middle. Hits off the pitcher. And the pitcher will just eat this one. I think he could have thrown Starlin out, but he chose not to. <clears throat> and so Soriano just grounds out, so we can't do anything. So we're still down two to nothing. Travis Wood is able to settle down in the second inning and work a one-two-three inning. And now we're back up. So with two outs, Deonor Navarro with a one-two count grounds this one, and that ends the inning. Great play there by the first baseman. And we're going to the top of the third, and Travis Wood hits it to Castro, and that's an out, so the pitchers are dealing here. Now Darwin Barney, two outs and an 0-2 count. He will ground this one up the middle. Red effort by Ricky Weeks, but Barney legs this one out to the first hit in about an inning or two for either side. And now David DeJesus hits this one over Ricky Weeks' head. We'll have runners on second and third. Or excuse me, first and second. So trying to get a two-out rally going. And after, oh, never mind. It looks like Starlin Castro's up, and he will just ground this one out. Inning over. Still no runs for our Cubs. Still down two nothing. So now Jonathan Luke Roy, the catcher, is up, and he hits this one to left field, and Alfonso Soriano misplays it. It's gonna go all the way to the wall. David De Jesus is there. But not before Jonathan Luke Roy can get a double. So we've seen Alfonso Storiano misplay a few balls. He's not the best fielder. We've seen him play, misplay a few balls in this series. And now a hit up the middle. And Tony Campana dives at the wrong time. And I really hate that. For some reason, sometimes it auto dives. And the player just dives for no reason. And we have Alfonso Soriano at the dish now. Trying to make up for that fielding error. And he gets a single here. So now anyway, no outs, Anthony Rizzo now up. And Rizzo is able to single, so now we will have runners on first and second with nobody out, trying to make up a few runs for that 3 nothing deficit. Nate Shear holds up, and he will sacrifice month them over. And he almost gets on himself. The runners are second and third with one out, which Deanna Navarro will ground out, but it will allow Soriano to come home, and it's 3-1. So now with two outs, Ian Stewart. 
They just end up popping this one up to a Ramos Ramirez, a former Cub himself, and that will end the inning. So we're able to score a run one on three hits, but we're still down two runs. And so now Travis Wood, who has settled down ever since that disastrous first inning, allowing only a few hits last inning, is able to work another one, two, three inning. And so now with a runner on, David DeJesus is going to be able to get a base hit. And so young runners at second and third, Starlin Castro. Grounds this to Ricky Weeks, but the runner is able to come across. So that is how we score both our runs. And Alfonso Soriano hits this one pretty deep, pretty high, and it will get caught by Ryan Braun out in left field. Just a few more feet, we'll be leading by a run, but we don't end up doing it. But Travis Wood still keeping us in the game, working some good innings, and now going to the bottom of the six. Anthony Rizzo is able to get a single, trying to spark something for us. As he gets a leadoff single. And now he is on second base. And Deanna Navarro. Curveball running inside. And it will hit him on the waist. Didn't look like it was in a, didn't look like it was intentional. It just looked like it ran inside. And now runners at first and second for a big playmaker this year. Scott Hairston. He will almost single this up the middle. If it was, just went a little bit faster. Maybe it would have, but he is able to put it out. And we're going to go ahead and call to the bullpen now for the top of the seventh as Corey Wade will enter the ball game. And so now Wade gives up a base hit. And so there will be a runner on. And now I believe that is the pitcher. And he's able to get a single, so the pitcher gets a single. And so we just need to make sure Corey Raid really doesn't need another or a run given up. And so, anyway, with two outs, a great diving catch by Nate Shearholtz will probably save a run here as it is still a three to second, and that three to two, excuse me. Now in the bottom of the seventh, Deanna, or excuse me, David DeJesus is able to get base hit. I'm mixing all these things up. And then after that, they're going to go ahead and call for a reliever, Burke Bandenhop. And so both starters are now out of the game, and we have a man on first with Starlin Castro up. He swings at that low pitch, but it's the catcher's not able to corral it. So now we're able to get a runner at second, and now with two outs, Alfonso Soriano singles up the middle. They're going to send the runner. And he is safe. So we ha now have a tie ball game, folks. The Cubs have come back from three to nothing to tie it up at three. And Alfonso Soriano is running, and he is safe. So now we have a runner in scoring position. The Cubs playing some smart baseball here. Now what can Rizzo do? He swings at a bad pitch in the dirt. Throw over to first. We'll get him so Cubs are able to tie up the game. Now on the top of the eighth, Corey Wade is still in the ball game. And just playing the shift, pitch it off to Wade, one, two, three inning. Now the bottom of the eighth. Chris Narvison is going to go ahead and come in. Nate Shearholtz at the plate now. And I do want to say, I believe after this video, I keep the right-handed, or I change the right-handed lineup to what we face against lefties, the lineup which you saw in the first two videos, just because I like that lineup a little bit better, so that means... Tony Campana and Chester Rogers, I believe, will be starting as long as Wellington Castillo. So you'll be seeing the same lineup. But anyway, Tony Campana rounding second, and he will be out. So now with two outs, Ian Stewart. He just ground out here to end the inning. And so now we're going to the top of the ninth. Now Scott Feldman will come in for the Cubbies. You see, he's only had one inning of work with a strikeout and no earned runs. And so now with one out. Nice curveball there, but it is hit. And it will be a base hit. So now the Brewers have a potential go-ahead runner on first base. And that'll, and anyway, fast-forwarding now to two outs. They have a pinch hitter do the Cubs. And Scott Feldman gets him to ground out. And so now the pitcher's spot will be up to lead off the bottom half of the ninth as we will get Wellington Castillo to pinch hit. As you see, no home runs, two RBIs, 267 average. 
And now fast forward to an 0-1 count. Chris Narviston still in the game. And Wellington Castillo will hit this fairly deep in the center. Center fielder still going back. He stops and it's gone. Wellington Castillo. A pinch hit walk off home run. And the Cubs have just won this game. What a play there by Wellington Castillo. Showing why he deserves to start over Deano Navarro. We call his numbers a pinch hitter. And he delivers a pinch hit walk-off solo home run. And the Cubs will win this game 4-3. to three. You get a few looks at that. It's now Scott Feldman as your winner. And Chris Narvison as your loser. You see that was a high fastball, I believe. And he just took it straight up the middle. Right on contact. Wasn't necessarily a real no-doubter. But it was a pretty good home run. So what a game, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, feedback is always appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check back to my other videos. We have some Cubs franchise. We had some golf that went up earlier. Hopefully, maybe we'll have another Adam Masters finishing out the preseason. Maybe I can get that up today. If not, then definitely tomorrow, along with probably another golf video. I'm thinking about maybe doing some Road to Glory in NCAA 14. But anyway, guys, also make sure to check out my Twitter, which will be linked in the description. Sportsmaster out. Have a great day, guys. Peace. Excursion. You've been watching MLB 13 The Show. For more, find us online at theshownation.com.